Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aisha Rosli and today I'm talking about my mum's response to me becoming Muslim. Okay, so I'm joined by my amazing mum right here. <laughs> Say hi mum. Hi mum. <laughs> oh my god. But I should mention first, this is the hijab that my mum made me. She made this by hand, with no sewing machine, nothing. No experience in making any kind of clothes before. <laughs> she just made it out of the love of her own heart. So I just wanted to point that out first. That's why I'm wearing this hijab. I guess my first question would be, what did you think when I started wearing hijab? Because I started wearing hijab before I became Muslim. I don't know, it's just you. I just accept whatever you do. You didn't think it was like weird or anything? No, I've given up thinking things are weird. <laughs> I just was accepting the fact that I put this... Um, pink hijab on my head and I started walking around wearing it yeah you didn't did at that point did you think that I was going to become Muslim no you just thought you'd found something you enjoyed wearing and you couldn't be bothered to do your hair so you put something on your head what about when we went out together like when we took your dogs for a walk or something like and I would sometimes wear it would, would you feel weird then or like people were looking at us differently or no because I don't really worry what other people think so it didn't really bother you. No, it doesn't bother me. As long as you're happy, that's all that matters to me. <laughs> so I guess one step further than that, again, before I became Muslim, I started going to the mosque just out of curiosity, the ones mm -hmm. in London. What about then when I said to you, there's this mosque that I'm going to go to? It still didn't bother me. If people want to believe in God, that's not a problem, is it? I don't know if you remember the first time I went to a mosque. Do you remember like what you said to me before I went to the mosque? No, I don't remember, sorry. You don't remember? I can't remember what happened yesterday sometimes. Because I remember I joined this group and I said to you that I'm going to go. And it's the first time I've been in this country. I remember you like gave me a warning. Do you remember that warning that you gave me? No, sorry. I do vaguely remember saying something to you, but what it was, I can't you, remember. You did like, you were very accepting of me going, but you said, look, if you're going to go, just be careful that when you leave the mosque, make sure there's no like men waiting outside for you, you but know. then that's that's just a general mother's concern if you was going to a nightclub i would have said the same thing to you just be careful when you leave yeah. it's my caring side of me is to it's my job to warn you that there might be some strange people out there so i guess taking one step further than that then i started learning how to pray mm-hmm and then that's when things were a bit different. I even started changing the way I dressed overall. I started wearing like long skirts, covering my ankles and all this kind of stuff. And I started, it went step by step, but I started changing even more. What about then when I was learning how to pray? Hmm, still didn't bother me. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> what did you think to yourself? Like when I was learning how to pray, did you, did you then think, did I'm going to start taking this a bit more seriously, that I'm going to actually become Muslim, or do you still think I was in a phase at that point? I don't know. I don't think I really think. I think I just accept whatever's happening. I don't really overthink anything. Were you concerned when I started doing this? No, no concerns. When, you know, you started hearing me reeling off things in Arabic and, no, no concerns. you know, putting my head on the ground. No, and... no concerns at all. No. <laughs> if that's what you want to do, that's up to you. <laughs> Literally, like, there wasn't, there wasn't nothing weird about it. No, whatever makes anyone happy. Um, I personally, I, God is not for me, personally. Yeah. I have no reason why I should or shouldn't believe, so maybe one day someone will convince me differently. Mm -hmm. but if that's the route someone wants to go down and they get comfort from it then I'm perfectly okay with that but what about when I actually became Muslim when I was like mom I declared my shahada in my experience you have to let your children follow their own path yeah if I turned around and said to you I don't want you to do that mm -hmm. there's a chance you'd just walked away from me and I don't have the right to say to you what you can and can't do Unless you're doing something really, really stupid or breaking the law. At that time, what did you know about Islam? What did you know about Muslims? Nothing. Nothing at all? Nothing. Oh, no, you did Ramadan. And that's only because of where we used to live and they all used to do Ramadan. But I was baffled at why anyone did it. But you must have had some opinions, like, you know, the media portrays the Muslim, like, the Muslim world a lot. So. No, the media portrays terrorists. Yes, they do portray terrorists. And there's good and bad in everyone, and you can't judge everyone by one person. 
exactly i mean that's completely true but um it's also you know some people who don't actually know any muslims who just see the media and they do think that because the smaller minority of Muslims they see are terrorists because of the media, like the way they portray, they believe that a lot of Muslims are terrorists. So did you not like think that way when I... No. No. Well, I didn't think you was going to become a terrorist. Well, no, I mean, you know the kind of person I am. But you must have thought to yourself as, from my character, from the person that I've been, there must have been some kind of good in what I was seeing for me to want to follow it. Yeah, I suppose so. I don't know really. I just thought this is Charlotte. This is what Charlotte's doing at the moment. So yeah. we will just accept it. And how did I change from when before I was Muslim to after I was Muslim? In my eyes, apart from the way you dress, you haven't changed. You was always a kind, caring person. You always, you've been taught to say please and thank you, to hold a door open for people and to treat people how you want them to treat you. So I haven't really seen in your behaviour, apart from you pray and you dress slightly different, mm. I haven't really seen any change. It's not like you were some wild. So I can't say that you've become what you've become just because you found God mm. or whether because so many bad things have happened that you've gone... Actually, there are people out there in a much worse state than me, mm. and there's always someone worse off than you. And maybe you think you find your lucky stars, and you think, well, I'll help that person. Mm. But I know you as the kid, uh, fifteen or whatever you was, phoned me up in London and said, "Mum, I haven't got the train fare home because I give twenty pound to a homeless man." I, I said, don't remember. "Why did you give twenty pound to a homeless man?" She said, "Well, I couldn't ask him for change." Oh. You only had a twenty pound note. You then had no oh. money to get your train home, and we lived in Cambridge. <laughs> well, that's adorable. I do not remember that at all. You was. <laughs> 15 maybe you was at one of your your theatre schools and I'd sent you up with enough money for your train fare and everything and you phoned me up I believe you phoned me from a police station as well <laughs> but you'd gone in and you told them you'd got oh. no money and they'd phoned me and when I got to the bottom of why you'd got no money, I ended up buying you a train ticket over the phone. So obviously, like, we went through some trauma, like, a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. Something that was really hard to deal with. And for the funeral, I showed up in my hijab. Mm -hmm. And none of the family knew I was Muslim at this point. And ten of the twelve people that were there all judged you. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Actually, so. the funeral people judged you, the vicar judged you, <laughs> but had badgered us into doing it because she caught me on the hop. Yeah. Because as far as I'm concerned, I do not come from a religious family. Yeah. Um, And everyone looked at you like you fell off another planet, <laughs> except me. <laughs> exactly. So, like, before the funeral, obviously, I said to mum, look, I'm Muslim, I'm not willing to take my hijab off. And my mum was just like, fine. You were like, do what you want to do. So I went along and this was the first time the rest of my family had seen me. And even then, was there not like a part of you that wanted to be like, oh, Charlotte, can you just not, please? Like, this is a funeral. Can no, you... no, there's not part of me. People don't accept it. That's their problem. Yeah. I'm mean... my daughter and I want you to be happy and I'm fully behind whatever you do. I mean, I remember you ordered me a black hijab online yeah. and you even ordered me like black modest clothes because yeah. you thought I might not have anything to wear. Yes, because there is one thing I do think you should wear black to a funeral. And but I that's not anything that. religious, that's just think, to you. I think moving on from what you just said about uh, it's not religious. So do you, have you at any point, first, have you at any point in your life believed in a religion? Like believed in one set religion? Did no. 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 But have you ever in your life felt like you've believed in God I will never say I don't believe because I don't, I find it hard to believe in things I can't see. God is something that nobody has ever seen. It you say that you've never seen God, whereas like we say we see God signs everywhere, which is even a fly coming into a room. You know, that fly is alive. It's created by something. We don't believe that fly just happened. 
but you know this is a different top this is more like going into dawa territory which is not what i want to do <laughs> I, I don't want to make dawa in this video i'm not versed in making dawa i'm sure you guys are probably better at it than me maybe one day i'll be better at it but this is not what this video is about so maybe somebody could convince me that i should believe in god maybe maybe someone there who's a go. lot more experienced in the dean than me if you guys know anyone put me in touch with them <laughs> Um, I'm gonna one day make a video with my mum. I'm gonna take her into a mosque and I'm gonna get her to meet a imam or a sheikh there who can actually speak to her way better than what I'll be able to. <laughs>